Okay class, today we are in section 7.1, Apply Exponent Properties Involving Products. Before, you evaluated exponential expressions. Now, you will use properties of exponents involving products. Why? So you can evaluate agricultural data as in example 5. Key vocabulary, order of magnitude, power, exponent, and base. Notice what happens when you multiply two powers that have the same base. a to the second power plus a to the third power. a is the base. a is the base. Equals a times a times a times a times a. That equals a to the fifth. So in other words, you just counted the number of a's that you had. Shortcut is a to the fifth. And how do we get a to the fifth? By saying a to the second plus three. So in other words, we add the two um, powers. So we add two plus three, and that gives us a to the fifth. The example above suggests the following properties of exponents, known as the product of powers property. Key concept for your notes. Don't forget, along with the vocabulary and also along with examples and guided practice. Product of properties power. Let A be a real number and let M and N be positive integers. Words. To multiply powers having the same base, add the exponents. Algebra. A to the M times A to the N equals A to the M plus N. Example. 5 to the 6 times 5 to the 3rd equals 5 to the 6 plus 3 which equals 5 to the ninth. Simplify expressions. When simplifying powers with numerical basis only, write your answers using exponents as in parts A, B, and C. Example 1. Use the product of property powers. 7 to the 3rd times 7 to the 5th equals 7 to the 8th. 3 plus 5 will give you 8. B. 9 to the first power times 9 to the eighth times 9 to the second equals 9 to the 1 times 9 to the eighth times 9 to the second, which equals 9 to the 11th. In other words, you added 1 plus 8 plus 2, gave you 11. Part C. Part C. Negative 5 times a negative 5 to the sixth means a negative 5 to the first times a negative 6, which equals a negative 5 to the seventh. How did we get to 7? We simply added 1 plus 6. That gave us 7. So a negative 5 to the first, remember there's a 1 right there that you don't see, times a negative 6 equals a negative 5 to the seventh. Part D, x to the fourth times x to the third. That equals x to the 4 plus 3, which is equal to x to the 7. In other words, x to the 4th times x to the 3rd equals 4 plus 3, which is 7. So we have 7 x's all together. Okay, now, power of a power. Notice what happens when you raise a power to a power. a to the 2nd raised to the 3rd means a to the 2nd times a to the 2nd times a to the second. In other words, a to the second three times. Now, what is a to the second? That's really a times a. a times a. a times a. And that equals a to the six, or a to the two times three. So in other words, when you see a to the second raised to the third power, all you do is multiply. Two times three is six. Because what you have there is six A's. Two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The example above suggests the following property of exponents, known as the power of a power property. Key concept, as usual, should be in your notes. Property of a property power. Let A be a real number 
and let m and n be positive integers. Words. To find a power of a power, multiply exponents. Algebra. a to the m raised to the n equals a times m n. Example. 3 to the 4th raised to the 2nd equals 3 to the 4 times 2, which is equal to 3 to the 8th. Example 2. Use the power of a property property. A. 2 to the 5th raised to the 3rd is equal to 2 to the 15th. How do we get to 15? 5 times 3. B. A negative 6 to the 2nd power raised to the 5th is equal to a negative 6 to the 10th. Why? Because 2 times 5 is 10. C. X to the 2nd raised to the 4th equals x to the 8th. When you're raising a power to a power, you multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. D. Y plus 2 to the 6th power raised to the 2nd power. That's equal to y plus 2 to the 12th power. y plus 2 raised to the 6th raised to the 2nd. What's 6 times 2? 12. Power of a product. Notice what happens when you raise a product to a power. a times b to the third equals a times b times a times b times a times b. Three times. So in other words, you can write it as a times a times a times b times b times b. And you will end up with a to the third times b to the third. That's a fancy way of saying a to the one times a to the one times a to the one. One plus one plus one will give you three. b to the one times b to the one times b to the one will give you b to the third. Don't forget, you are adding exponents when you multiply. The example above suggests the following properties of exponents, known as the power of a product property. Key concept, once again, for your notes. Power of a product property. Let A and B be real numbers, and let M be a positive energy. integer. Words, to find a power of a product, Find the power of each factor and multiply. Algebra. A times B raised to the M equals A to the M times B to the M. Example. 23 times 17 raised to the 6. That means 23, excuse me, 23 times 17 raised to the 5th. That means 23 to the 5th times 17 to the 5th. Simplify expressions. When simplifying powers with numerical and variable bases, be sure to evaluate the numerical power as in parts B, C, and D. Example 3. Use the power of a product property. A. 24 times 13 raised to the eighth power. That equals 24 to the eighth times 13 to the eighth. B. 9xy raised to the second power. That equals 9 times x times y raised to the second power. And that means 9 to the second times x to the second times y to the second. And that equals 81 times x to the second times y to the second. Now the 81 came from saying 9 squared. 9 times 9 is 81. C. Negative 4z raised to the second. That equals negative 4 times z raised to the second. That equals negative 4 to the second times z to the second. Negative 4 to the second is equal to 16 because a negative 4 times a negative 4 would give you 16. D. Negative 4 z to the second is equal to negative 4 times z to the second. And that equals 4 squared, excuse me, a negative 4 squared times z squared. And that's equal to a negative 16z squared. 
Now notice the difference between C and D. Notice here, the negative is inside the parentheses. That means that comes along with us. That's when we write the negative 4 twice. Here, the negative is outside. So we evaluate inside first, then take the negative sign along for a ride. Notice, going from here to here, the negative sign is still where? On the outside. Going from here to here, notice we have what? 4 squared, but that's a positive 4 squared. What's a positive 4 squared? 16. What is z squared? That's z squared. What sign do we have on the outside? A negative. It remains negative. Whereas up here, the negative 4, the negative is within the parentheses. So that means we repeat the negative twice. Negative 4 times a negative 4 would give us a positive 16. Example 4. Use all three properties. Simplify. 2 times x to the third raised to the second times x to the fourth. Now, the way I'm going to show you how to do this is we're going to go from here to right here. We're going from here to here. It'll be easier for you to see. 2 raised to the second power is 4. x to the third times x to the second is x to the sixth. And then the x to the four comes along for the ride. Now I got 4 times x to the 6 times x to the 4th. x to the 6 times x to the 4th is x to the 10th. I add it. And then the 4 comes along for a ride because there's no other number to multiply that against. So my final answer is 4 times x to the 10th. Here, they're breaking down each step so you can see what's going on. But if you know what's going on, if you understand what I just did, you don't need to look at this step at all. You can just go from here to right here. Order of magnitude. The order of magnitude of a quantity can be defined as the power of 10 nearest the quantity. Order of magnitude can be used to estimate or perform rough calculations. For instance, there are about 91,000 species of insects in the United States. The power of 10 closest to 91,000 is 10 to the fifth or 100,000. So there are about 10 to the fifth species of, of insect in the United States. Example 5. Solve a real world problem. Bees. In 2003, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, collected data on about 10 to the third power honeybee colonies. There are about 10 to the fourth bees in an average colony during honeybee production season. About how many bees were in the USDA study? Solution. To find the total number of bees, find the product of the number of colonies, 10 to the third, and the number of bees per colony, 10 to the fourth. So we have 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth. That's equal to 10 to the seventh. In other words, 3 plus 4 would give us 7. The USDA studied about 10 to the 7th or about 10 million bees. Okay, you should be ready to start your lesson.